Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. Very silent. You can't hide that fact. Piano. A lot of piano. What a perfectly lovely red face. Why would you destroy that? That's completely unnecessary. It was so pretty and red. But I can't help it. Oh, this is my favorite color. Let's board it up. Give me a hatchet. I will take apart those chains in an instant. But... This is a game, and it has limitations. So I suppose I have no choice. I did always find the piano to be the most... What was I saying? I do find the piano to be the most calming of the instruments. The most... maybe calming is not the right word. The most soothing. I appreciate its presence and its tune the most of all the instruments. Did you know the piano was more than simply just one kind of instrument? Let's say, oh, creators. Mm. I know that feeling sweet. Not exactly in the way of creating, but more in, well, other things, I think. What is that ugly thing? It's a key. Huh. A key to what door? I did not notice a door, but it is also very dark, so I probably couldn't have seen anything. Unless I missed something, which is entirely possible. Ah. Naturally, my mind is playing tricks on me, but my mind... No, 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 no. My mind would stop. My mind would never play tricks on me. My mind is too good for that. There was a consideration that I did have some kind of thing going on with my head when I was younger. But psychologists could not discover anything. At least not anything related to a mental disorder. What would happen if I would get checked now? More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is I agree with every word. So you're finally realizing the truth. Good, good. Once you realize the truth, it will absolutely save you. Truth is... It can be both a burden and a curse. But it can also be very... Enlightening. It can be very revealing and... Very... Just simply useful to know. Can I turn on this light? No. Ah, here we are. Hmm. Oh. There's a downstairs area. Ah, oh, that's probably the way I should go. Is this gonna be locked? That's gonna be locked. Are there so many locked doors? Is is my mind or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This man's mind, because I'm pretty sure that the protagonist is a man. Is this man's mind trying to tell him something? Trying to keep him locked out of certain aspects of his subconscious, of his own thoughts. The mind does work in very mysterious ways. It's only natural to try and block out certain aspects. But no, 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 not me. There are plenty of aspects of all my mind that my mind has attempted to block. I am almost certain. But it has not done so. It has not attempted to do so. Mm. What? Ugh. Unbelievable. Interesting. Ugh. Ugh. Do I really have to read this and listen to this at the same time? Let me turn the volume down. 
Much better. If I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think sixteen concurring opinions would be enough. Sixteen. Good lord. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, MD. Another fucking quack. The fucking quacks. Aren't they just the most awful and annoying individuals? I'm trying going backwards now because the last time I went backwards, I heard it in a normal tone. Yes. Sounds like it's coming from here. That's not. Where's it coming from? I must find the source of this. No, it's not in there. Keep going. I should be able to find it. Hello? Yes, speak. Yeah. What? What fire? Oh, God. Is she... Which hospital? No. I'm on my way. Hmm. So there is a fire in your house. Fire in the house is a very easy way to try and get rid of evidence, you know. Assuming it's not an accident, or you want to ensure that it was not seen as an accident. Wait. I said that wrong. Set a fire, but in a very careful way, to make it seem like it was an accident, when in actuality it was not. Something was jerking around there. What in the world was that? Some kind of disgusting creature of some sort. I cannot read that, it's too dark. That's a wall. Hmm. Is that a door? Wait, this room is upside down. How did it take me that long to realize? Wait. Flapping horn, be quiet, constantly flapping, eating the whole rats. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Hmm. Ah! And here we have it. It took me far too long to realize what was going on. Deer head? Don't even have any human heads. Disappointing. Right? Left. What am I going to see now? What horrors await me the next time I pass through the floor? Oh, that is incredibly disappointing. Why? At least show me something interesting. But no, perhaps not. Perhaps that's not what is so- Ah, more writing. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. 
We still have the chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. The social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter. Hmm. He thinks there was a settlement issue relating to perhaps a divorce of some kind. That's my guess anyways. I don't know for sure, but that's certainly my guess. Was there anything this way? No, there was absolutely nothing this way. That was absolutely pointless. I should have known better. I should have observed better. But, no. My mind decided to play tricks on me. Except, no, that's incorrect. Because my mind does not play tricks on me. Mind you. What is this? Some kind of old fountain in a house? It looks like it belongs on a castle property and nothing more. It's already lit. Do my eyes continue to deceive me? No. No, they do not. For some reason, my mind is just... Something okay. I'm not really sure why. Hmm. If I let that run for a little bit, what is this? Silent floaters, they clog the drain, throw in the water, no bats for me. But, when something seems to happen, of course. Why wouldn't it? Anything? No. Hmm. Those are really pointless. Can I do anything more? I must be able to do something. Ugh. Well. Clearly not. Ugh. That's locked. So in other words, I can't seem to do anything until I figure out whatever puzzle is happening. Or, I simply do that. It's not easy to assume that I would be able to move anything in this environment because most of it I can simply interact with or pick up. Well, mostly pick up or examine, but not interact with, I suppose. Ugh, please. Ah, let there be light. Indeed, let there be- ugh. Does that turn something on or off? I don't know. Wow, oh, that definitely turns something on. Ah. Are the other doors like that? No, they do not have a lock. Hmm. This, what is the point of this? Red herring. No, it's not quite. Body borrowers feeding on me, driving me insane, too fast to cut out. Are you talking about insects of some kind? I do know plenty of insects that can create that sort of feeling. Some Pimipterans, plenty of Dipterans as well. No, oh, naturally. Nothing. Ah, there's something. Watch, there's gonna be nothing behind this. Okay, well technically there's a brick wall behind this. But... Don't give me a headache. It's not what anybody needs. Hmm. Well, I surprised that. I survived that, surprisingly. Ah, <sighs> into the darkness I go, I suppose. There's nothing to be inherently afraid of when it comes to dark places. It's just... The darkness tends to bring out the fear of the unknown in people. It can certainly be... uneasy for plenty of individuals. But not always. That is not always the case. It's simply something that happens. Fear is quite an interesting emotion. One that plenty of people can play on and manipulate to their heart's content. As they see fit. If they so desire. Things are floating. Right. 
lights. Something is wrong with this man's mind. Could it be schizophrenia? I don't know for sure. Visual and auditory hallucinations are certainly a major factor of schizophrenia, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what's happening here. And some mental disorders can be the results of something you were born with, a genetic factor. Others develop over time, and sometimes it could even be a factor of both. But it's hard to say. The mind is a very delicate instrument. Honestly, it can be a very delicate instrument, the brain. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Why Finally, would you? I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. It's not uncommon to use bone for a variety of uses, but to use it for something such as paint for an undercoat. That's the first I've heard. Fascinating. Let's head back upstairs and through this door, which I imagine will lead me back to the painting in which I put the third layer onto what I assume is going to be the masterpiece. This room is in a state of disarray. Who, who leaves their workshop like this? In any stage. No matter what. You don't leave your workshop like this. It's just a disgrace. Absolutely. It's not looking into my soul, though. I'd be able to tell if it was looking into my soul, but it's not. But there is some interesting emotion behind it that I can't quite define. Quite the strange mouth as well. Somewhat of a grotesque figure that has yet to take shape. That looks like a skull. Like one of those ridiculous cow skulls that you would find somewhere in the middle of the desert. Something along those lines. It looks like some kind of deformity on its head. I don't know for sure though. It's, it's simply still not fully developed yet. It still has a little ways to go. Evidently. It's the third, with the bone. Skin, blood, and bone. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder what my next project will be. This guy seems to have taken quite an ambition with the project he's working on. Makes me think about what I'm going to do for my next project. I wonder.